I'm Jerry McGreer. And I am Gary Butterfield. And this is Days of Future Cast, the Avengers podcast. <laughs> right? We're popping in. We're popping yeah. into the Avengers stuff. Uh, there's some mutants in here. Beast is here. Scarlet Witch is here. Yeah. Mystique is here. Destiny's here. The Brotherhood of Mutants are not here. That's not this. Come in. Come in. That's next That's episode. next issue. Um, next issue, which accomplishes most of what this one does, but better, I think. Yeah. You know? Uh, but this is still, we're, we're, we're uh, doing ladies month. We're doing first appearances, uh, ladies month. And then that transitioning into, uh, the Phoenix saga. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, mystique is who we're, we're thinking about mm-hmm. now who apparently I'm as surprised as you are first appeared, uh, well, first appeared in Miss Marvel number 16, uh, which I read on accident, uh, that generally involves Miss Marvel fighting the man Fibian known as tiger shark. Um, he's a man Fibian. And then, uh, but her first full appearance is in Miss Marvel 18, the short lived uh, 70s Miss Marvel series. Yes. Um, yeah. And yeah, I, I don't know that I've read a lot of Miss Marvel comics, Gary. Just I've read almost none. Yeah. I don't think that I've like, read. I think I've read when they didn't they do like a kind of like a soft reboot, like they relaunched it right around the time or a few years before the MCU stuff. Um, oh yeah. Maybe. And I, that, I yeah. think I jumped on then and it was like, okay, yeah, cool. But it's never been uh, like a favorite character of mine or anything. Um, but it's weird going back to the seventies uh, to sit and reading some of this stuff, my man. It's, it's very, it's just odd. Who is this villain? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> the, yeah. We'll, 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 we'll get, we'll get there. Uh, you know, Tiger Shark, largely a villain for her uh she was huge like in the 70s uh and chris claremont loved her this is a chris claremont comic yeah and then went away for a long time uh so when she came back the thing you're referring to in the 2000s like with mighty avengers and stuff it was a kind of a big deal mm-hmm. when they relaunched her like it was like a classic character uh here um as is though like i don't know uh it's real 70s. It's, it's real 70s. The cover is, is very 70s, too, because we've got uh, Miss Marvel, um, who is not Captain Marvel yet. Captain Marvel is still a different dude. Um, but uh, she's in an action pose with just a bunch of, like, Avengers around her, varying shapes and sizes. Like a headshot of Scarlet Witch and Wonder Man. But, like, all of Vision is there. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, Yellow Jacket is just shooting a beam. At nothing. Somewhere. At nobody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I uh, forgot that Yellow Jacket existed. Like when he popped out on the yeah, page, man. I was like, "Whoa, that's a guy! It's <laughs> a real dumb <laughs> outfit." <laughs> like, it's, I, I love that costume. <laughs> I'm not, every every Avengers seventy costume, seventies Avengers costume, I love. It's it's a it's uh, a fucking choice, my man. <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> it's, it's, the Avengers in this issue and the next Avenger issue are so shitty. I know, dude. <laughs> they spend so much time being like, "We need Thor, or Iron Man, or we can't do anything." <laughs> No, the next issue that we're doing the annual especially like they'd spend all issue getting their asses kicked like one after it's the so other funny. It's so good like it's so good because it's it's hard to remember that the avengers like were always you know one of the big marvel comics but weren't big with gen pop like x-men were firmly ascendant mm-hmm. you know in the in this kind of era uh and the avengers like had a real power creep thing like now you're reading avengers comic and like everybody's real cool this is back in the day where like vision sucks shit. Yeah. You know, as opposed to being like, you know, one of the most powerful guys in the team. Uh, everybody's a wuss. Everybody. It's great. Yeah. It's hilarious. Um, yeah. We start this comic book with uh, this, the comic that's the, the kind of thing that you always want to see uh, with your hero, just having a fucking migraine attack in the middle of the air and falling <laughs> down, <laughs> falling well, she down. Got blasted. Well, she did the migraine. She got hit. There's a beam coming from uh, the left. This is the, the dude zapping her. Oh, my bad. Um, I thought she was yeah, just, I thought okay. she just got a headache. I, I was just like, how? <laughs> yeah. It's going to be back to, back to Logan. I, I, want, I want to talk a little bit about her costume. Okay. Which is fully covered from the waist up mm-hmm. and then is just panties. Yes. From the waist down. Mm-hmm. It's real weird. She looks like she's Porky Pig in it. Like she put on the top half of her costume and then had to run outside in her underwear. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, just incredible. Just a, a lot of legs stuff. open. Um, Way, way leg uh she uh she's talking about how she had this really good day because she had an impromptu snowball fight from the women's magazine editorial staff uh which i would have liked that was in the last issue i should go back and read that yeah the, the editor's note saying fight. see last issue was just like oh, do, do i <laughs> just try and stop me <laughs> i could just click on it right now um yeah. 
they uh she uh, falls onto the top of a building uh right above fortunately uh Wanda and uh Janet who are out shopping for some clothes that Wanda thinks is too daring uh but yeah. but Janet doesn't want to um just wear frumpy clothes all of her life she wants to have some style so J- Janet Pym like the wasp doesn't get tons of characterization in a lot of comics mm-hmm. uh in the 70s she was every every team had a costume designer you know, basically mm-hmm. in the, in the seventies, like Janet Pym did all the Avengers costumes and then Kitty Pride made costumes, uh, for the X-Men eventually. Uh, she has to mention it multiple times per episode <laughs> at this time. It's real weird. She's like, these clothes are scrumptious. Even if I didn't design them, I'm like, you just bought them. Yeah. <laughs> like, and when I go to a restaurant, I'm like, this is good. Even if I didn't, even make if it. I, I know didn't I didn't do make it. it. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, they yeah. see, they see. Miss Marvel falling out of the sky. And um, I, I don't know what why I like this line so much, but Janet's like, I, you take the elevator, Wanda. Like, and Wanda's like, I'm not going to take the <laughs> fucking stairs. Like, what do you, why are you telling me to do obvious shit? Like, I'm going to, I will go report this to Captain America immediately. Like, if we, I don't know what's going on up there, but me and you have some interpersonal dynamics. We need to sort this shit out now. Wanda, take notes. <laughs> Excuse uh, me? <laughs> Janet, you're the same Avenger level as I am, okay? <laughs> like, you can't yeah. get shit done either unless there's a man around, all right? Call Calm it down. Um, uh, she comes in there to try to fight. Uh, the The thing that has shot Miss Marvel and now has a gun to her head is uh, Crusader. Um, it's this weird, like bug like battle suit. Mm-hmm. Once we we find out eventually, this is a shield suit. I don't know why they decided to make it look scary and bug like. <laughs> Dude, that's what um, Shield does, man. Like, look, I mean, that's just that's Shield. Uh, that's just that's how uh, Shield do it. Uh, Agent Colton is just like, yeah, let's make it a little bit more bug like, man. Come on, let's get like do bugs. some weird shit. Like bugs, like creepy crawly green ghouls. Mm. Uh, we get the seventies wasp costume as well, which has the gigantic you know W right on her vagina. Yeah, uh, it's really. I know we just complained about NYX being like too sexual. This doesn't feel nearly as horny. It's just like accidentally horny or something i don't know it just it feels like dudes who have never designed an outfit before designing outfits for these people right like it's just like if you look at those like anybody could tell you that those boots that she's wearing with that w cut in are just they're just going to be uncomfortable for the kind of work that she's doing right like it just looks kind of dumb and like overly ornate yeah um i feel that she skinned loki like it looks like she (laughs) made the costume out of Loki. <laughs> <laughs> and someone is just really in love with like those shoulder lines, like, like the yellow jacket and now the wasp pass too. And I'm, I'm sure that they're trying to like make that a thing, but like I just, that W going up into the, ch- <laughs> over the shoulder is just really bad to me. I'm telling you, she's the wasp. Did you see, uh, uh, she, she, since we're talking fashion, did you see what they put fucking gambit in <laughs> for the hellfire banquet thing that they're doing in the comic books right now? No, but I'm gonna look it up right now. Oh, I can, I can, I can, uh, I could save you a click, my friend. I'll drop, uh, I'll drop it. It, it auto completes. <laughs> Gambit. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Huh. I um. <laughs> well, I love it, dude. I absolutely love it. Like what just tits out for Gambit? You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, it, it's it's very similar to his usual outfit, except he's not wearing the shirt underwear yeah. under the trench coat. I love that the you know? um on the the one that I sent you like that has like the design it has a butt detail <laughs> or it says pants detail yeah. but it's just a picture of his butt and it's like he's kind of cocky he's got a he's kind of got like a pose happening he's, but it's just the butt yeah. <laughs> he's working it uh, yeah it's very huh. good go gambit go gambit yeah <laughs> go gambit uh the uh she's she's apps crusader mm-hmm. uh with her little wasp thing and it hurts him but it doesn't do enough. And she's flying around real fast and little, uh, but he has a little computer brain, uh, computer glasses that can compensate. Yep. So he almost zaps her. Uh, th- this whole issue is like the Avengers coming up, losing to this guy one by one. <laughs> That's uh, a lot of that. <laughs> um, it's it's kind of weird that uh, so Wanda finally makes it out. Um, and then she gets off the elevator. She gets off the like, elevator. Uh, so much for heroes poses, right? Like she didn't even get to jump yeah. off anything. I would have, I would have at least got taken the elevator one floor up so I could then jump yeah. down and act like I was the big action star or something. Right. Could have done at least something. Uh, there's also tons of civilians here are kind of trampling her. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, this Avenger gets stymied by uh, there being people getting out of or into an elevator. A yes. Mm hmm. I mean, it's, her weakness. it's a crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. she's got a little bit of that, uh, just people fear and gore, and, and not agoria, agoraphobia. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. 
I am uh, I am so beside myself excited for Doctor Strange 2 just so I can see Wanda go fucking off the deep end. It looks nuts and I'm just so excited for it. Yeah, yeah. I want, I'm really uh, excited for shitty villain Wanda. Yeah, exactly. Uh, want it. Very much so. Um, I, they fight some more, um, yep. but they lose Miss Marvel. Uh, and what has happened is that Miss Marvel has transformed into her alter ego, Carol Danvers, uh, when nobody was looking. Yep. And, and hung out in the crowd. She's going to get away, but then the, uh, the rest of the uh, Avengers show up. Yes. Um, at this time, this is uh, the Vision and Wonder Man. Uh, who show up um is this where they're like we have to we're gonna unless we call thor iron man we're doomed no that comes later <laughs> i think that comes later yeah yeah uh, <laughs> it's, it's real good <laughs> but there is a there i can't find it i thought there was a line where uh centurion's like she's probably calling uh, oh yeah here it is yeah she's probably calling for help too and i'm like wow <laughs> just total disrespect <laughs> the, the, the the sexism in these 70s comics the uh the avengers comic which i think is actually like excellent I think it's really good. The next one, mm-hmm. the end of that, where she Carol Danvers calls out the Avengers on their shit. Love it, absolutely love uh, it. It's real, yeah, it's super good. What a great scene. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is just them losing. Uh, Hank Pym, uh, you know, the Yellow Jacket comes up here. He gets zapped. Wasp saves him. Uh, Vision. There, there are multiple times in these comics where somebody analyzes Vision's move. And at the time, Vision, rather than using his density for anything or shooting beams. His only move was to put his hand in somebody and then slowly ramp up the density until the person got knocked out from the pain. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's so weird that we're reading two issues back to back where somebody's like, oh, it's it's a vision. This is what he's going to do. Um, and and his his counter to that is to zap him. Yeah. Uh, a with dose a of my disintegrator beam and <laughs> vision is like, well, if that, if I hadn't been, you know, if I'd been a little bit more dense, that could have destroyed me. And I'm like, really? A, dis- a yes. random shield disintegrator <laughs> beam? That's come on, man. Come on vision. Um, uh, and then he, then after this, he's like, even intangible, I'm at risk. I'd rather not risk. I, I shouldn't dare another attack. <laughs> like everyone's just going one at a time to just like, and then taking a bench. It's like a Pokemon fight. It's very hilarious. Uh, time for wonder man. Um, who is fully dressed but still has somehow the worst outfit of the day <laughs> like this dude the the belt around the overcoat is is a fucking look man like what were these dudes thinking was cool in 1978 Classic. man this was the epitome of cool wonder man's a movie star like this is what they thought like cool hollywood people dressed like wild and maybe like yeah, i could yeah. probably i could see nicholas cage like rocking this look but i wouldn't have, i wouldn't appreciate it i wouldn't like give him props for it at all man you unlocked a Nicolas Cage's Wonder Man for me. There you go. Uh, which I like. That's the uh, that's I, I pretty good. Was looking around, and, <laughs> it'd be pretty, pretty good. Great. The uh, somebody uh, was talking about casting, you know, mm-hmm. uh, X Men shit uh, online. I saw it, and I saw somebody suggest the idea of uh, Idris Elba, or not Idris Elba, sorry, uh, Lance Riddick as Magneto. Ooh, and it was like, oh man, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm a. I'm watching. Like, I'm rewatching Fringe right now. Jones. So I have. A, I have a lot of Lance Riddick in my life. Um, and it just reminds me that that dude is just cool as shit. Like that dude is just. I love him. When you get uh, great voice. I also saw him put forward as Apocalypse once, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that. All right then. Yeah, I could also see that. Like good voice. You know, make him bigger. Mm-hmm. You know, like then the shitty like short king apocalypse we had. <laughs> Poor Oscar Isaac. Uh, <laughs> that dude. He's a little guy. He's a little. I know dude. I didn't give him lifts for that movie. He's shorter than all his henchmen. He um it's so undignified. Have you ever heard him talk about that role? Like how uh, just he hated it. He like the makeup and everything. <laughs> like he was just like they. I mean, I I could barely move. I could barely move my face. Like I couldn't do anything. I felt so stupid the entire. Like he hated the entire fucking production. <laughs> it's a miracle they got him back to do more Marvel stuff. Like, and I'm sure it's just because uh, he gets to be like the star and a kind of a weird badass i guess but yeah well it's also a proper marvel stuff where they make money yeah also that you yeah. know it's, oh, I, I can probably be a cameo in an avengers movie in the me set for life yeah you know um wonder man uh, shows up and yeah. he punches him punches uh crucible creator what's his name uh Kedane? crusader Kedane? is that the canadian Kedane. <laughs> Kedane, you know uh punches uh he he notices carol danvers get out of the way uh, and takes mental note of it. Carol Danvers behind uh, this, you know, chimney or what have you, turns back into Miss Marvel, which then allows Crusader to uh, track her again. Yes, uh, they're going to spend a lot of time 
figuring that out, mm-hmm. uh, it's a little bit irritating. Uh, basically, he can track the costume, not her. Yeah. Um, oh. But she quickly gets blasted pretty much out of the sky again uh, and just lands on a, the ugliest city bus I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, yeah. just, it's kind of futuristic for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. Where, where, like, where is this sci-fi bus going? Because I want to go the opposite yeah. direction. <laughs> I love the uh, the tow the tow guy going. Hey, what are you doing to my bus? As this like, superhero just fell and <laughs> slammed into the top of it while fighting a laser blaster guy. Uh, uh, meanwhile, Crusader blast Wonder Man uh, right square in the chest, uh, but uh, yeah. Wonder Man survives. Fortunately, his costume does not. His his clothing is ripped to shreds. Yep, uh, he's just, and he's he's fine, but slowed him down long enough for Crusader to go fly away, looking for uh, Miss Marvel. Uh, Miss Marvel who uh, flies away, ends up in this building uh, that is under construction and uh, changes back into her, uh, from her Cree battle uniform back into her Carol Danvers guys. So he can't track her. Uh, Crusader being a sharp cookie is like, I've lost her, but I'll just bring down the building. Yeah. Like I saw her go in here. <laughs> she'll die. So I'm just going to destroy this entire building. Um, God living in New York yeah. in the seventies must have sucked ass. Like absolutely sucked ass. <laughs> serial killers everywhere. Well, because there was no, I mean, crime was just rampant. Um, and in yeah. the two thousand, it would suck. It'd be full of pimps. Yeah, it's true. You know, yeah. Um, uh, Wonder Man comes in and saves this anonymous woman today um, from from the building because he does not know that she is uh, Miss Marvel, um, which is I'm sure is a thing like right right now. But like, it just seems really weird to me that Carol Danvers has a secret identity at this point. I don't know why. It just seems like it. Is before yeah before she joined the the Avengers uh you know for a little bit like when she's just hanging out with them yeah this is definitely a weird thing uh then we get our uh mystique during you know crusader keeps talking about raven uh giving him orders during this and we cut over to um a woman uh in the pentagon the assistant secretary of defense um watching this fight um on on the news uh and uh gets a message from a futuristic communicator sculpture that smokes yeah i mean like a um, it's basically like an incense pot <laughs> that talks yeah like incense communicator <laughs> which sounds like the only way to make incense even more insufferable is to make it talk <laughs> yeah. or like a really irritating youtube channel there you like, go hey guys hey, it's the incense communicator <laughs> uh, yeah but I, I she's talking to somebody who is her lord she's like oh i hear you lord uh the lord who is this ghost critter with pointy ears uh, that comes in the smoke says, uh, stop crusader from fighting Miss Marvel. Uh, he's making a scene and we're going to get discovered. Yeah. You know, um, she, she uses the word Lord a lot. <laughs> like, yes. I need you. I, need, I will need your words. Lord. I will do what you say. Lord. Like it's just a, this is too much lording for me. Um, I don't know who this is. I don't, I don't have any kind of, I don't know who she's being bossed around I, by right now. I, I was, yeah, I wasn't hungry for more. Yeah. Miss Marvel after this uh so i i didn't see who she's working for here but we do see her transform uh user powers what's kind of interesting uh so i like that this is a first appearance for mystique Mm -hmm. um because i think it's it illustrates her real well like uh she says like i'm gonna do what you're gonna say but not because you say it it's because it suits me you know uh and i want revenge on carol danvers which is going to be her her thing for a while um the uh it immediately out the gate like she's not you know she's like i'll obey but i'm not really on your team yeah you know and that's, that's the cool thing about mystique is that she's always a uh, kind of a wild card it's the second you know, she's not a henchman it's the second coolest thing the coolest thing is her belt made out of skulls <laughs> that's <laughs> so- belt made out of skulls is really cool <laughs> did you notice like the very subtle differences in the costume like in this first version there are little straps that hold the sides together oh yeah look at that you know interesting yeah. and when she transforms it's like the shimmer effect it's not like the you know, the various ways they've done it. Yeah. I like the shimmer effect a lot. I think that looks kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. I like it more. I, I definitely, I, the more I think about it, the, my least favorite mystique transforming one is the movies, like the weird scales. Yeah. I think that was, uh, very, very cool for the time. Like just in a CGI kind of fancy, you know, showing off kind of way. But, um, I, I like the, I, I like just like the shimmy or shimmery stuff. So yeah, it's, it, it looks cooler. Mm-hmm. It's a little bit more like, uh, out there. Yeah. We get a little one page subplot about the Cree because it's Miss Marvel. Yep. Skipping uh, right over that. During the <laughs> both these comments, she's constantly saying like buy Tamor. Yeah. And buy Pama. B- buy the Black Nebula. Like, okay. <laughs> Calm that down. Yeah, you know, all this Cree Cree horse shit. 
that I, I can't care about too much. No, not at all. Um, but two scientists, uh, it's worth talking about these guys because it's Fedor and Bundal. Yeah. I want to dress up. Like, Dude, if we ever go to a Halloween party together, which is probably never Fedor going to Bundal. happen. <laughs> but... <laughs> I, I can't believe what we managed to sneak in the first appearances of Fedor and Bundal. Yeah, dude. I mean, we got this month as well. It's, it's just, we're just doing the Lord's work right now. Really bringing yeah. the Fedor love to the, to the broad internet, you know? Yeah. I hope we don't piss off Bundal Twitter. Uh, <laughs> during this. The, uh, but they, they wake up a computer that has the Kree Supreme intelligence. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Kree is a sleeping pill to me. Yes. Uh, in Marvel comics. Uh, back at the fight. Um, the Avengers are just arguing now. They're waiting around <laughs> They're just, for, for, for Iron Man or Thor to show up. Yeah. Um, I love this. Would you have us commit mass suicide then? Like if we go like Vision is so terrified <laughs> of this man. He's like, I'm not going. I'm, I will literally die if I have to go to work. Yeah. I promise you. It, it, Wonder Man could find him, but he doesn't have his belt jets. <laughs> so we have to bide our time until Thor or Iron Man arrives. Uh, hey, kids. Uh, <laughs> cool superheroes we got here. But I love Miss Marvel improvising like an Indiana Jones, the shadow costume to wear uh it's real good like she's like who anything say about belt jets and this like whips wonder man at crusader and wonder man doesn't know this is going to happen is not prepared for this <laughs> not at all it looks like it hurts him bad <laughs> i love it so much where did like i love i actually really like this miss marvel outfit that she went and changed but like where did she how did she put this together so fast like did she fall into no she was in <laughs> I mean, she's in a crumbled building. She just she just fell into a Dillard's and was like, I could put this together real quick. Don't worry about it, guys. And like the Dillard's employee is like, hey, wait, you have to. I, I don't you're not a superhero. You can't just take stuff. <laughs> That's not allowed. She's and she spends most of this uh, page while trying to fight the guy talking about, uh, you know, everyone loves this costume. Like Hank's like, my apologies, Jan. I thought you were one of a kind in the costume department. Uh, and. uh Miss Marvel's like, if I weren't already occupied, I'd cram those words down your throat. You know, I don't need to explain. However, I do look good. I should keep these bare shoulders. I can move around. And I look great. All while punching this guy who has fought the Avengers to a standstill. It's, it's real bizarre. It's also um, oh. the, the line in here because she, she, she's, as she's thinking this, then she says she takes the time to guilt herself for thinking that she likes her outfit. It's like so yeah. much for my raised consciousness. And I'm like, wow, you guys are really. I, I've also called this guy crusader at Centurion. Oh, uh, whatever. I would, we can just call What's him a deal? crucible knight because I mean, he's just. The... Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Sorry. I just wanted to point that out so no one yelled at me. Um, he doesn't even uh, get a face in this. So I'm not, I'm not stressed. <laughs> we get this. He does. It's a reveal, but it's somebody who I don't know. Oh, that's right. It's that's right. I, did tra- I forgot lore. at the end. They were like, oh my God, it's Bogart. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah. what? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, yeah. there's more fighting. Uh, vision comes in. Um, and and does some more like putting his arm through stuff and then just gets you know knocked out of the sky <laughs> immediately dumpstered yeah just uh he's falling i love this bit miss marvel's like i owe you for that vision that that mason bolt must have torn you a shreds inside it may have even killed you but he bought me some time <laughs> and then she she runs off like she you know, later robot could not give a shit uh the idea he mentioned his computer that is allowing him to track her so she goes and tracks the computer and goes and starts fucking that up. You know, hopefully Vision doesn't die in the meantime. Yeah. Um, I, th- I love the idea that she can just go into a a, a power plant <laughs> and just start mm-hmm. ripping the place up. This is hilarious. Like this could, she, I mean, like she probably she just blacked out Manhattan right now, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. At best. If, if not started a lot of fires. Yeah. You know, it, it's, um, it's real silly uh yeah really really good also the mechanics uh, of this are really funny because she like pulls wires out like drapes them across and then like uses her super strength to to turn a turbine that lights up the electricity through these wires very funny stuff man this is very hilarious to me i love I, it's not just enough to like cut off his power she has to give him feedback by putting in too much turbine yeah and then she gave him feedback on the outfit and was like, dude, the bug eyes are just not, they're not you, man. <laughs> yeah. Not good. Let, let's go. Let's go to my crumbled building. I'll set you up with a new outfit. Um, this I, doesn't, what I assumed would happen was this would shut off the supercomputer suit, but no, <laughs> instead it says yeah. it turns all of the systems on at the same time. And he just ping pongs all around the place, presumably yeah. destroying everything with his disintegrator beam. <laughs> 
like some kind of madcap runaway balloon. I love it, dude. Absolutely love it. Uh, r- really good. Uh, just silly shit. Yeah. Uh, and this gives uh, Carol Danvers the opening she needed to punch him. Yes. <laughs> Which, finally. Like, I, yeah, finally. Uh, she takes off his disintegrator beam, you know, uh, throws it into the sky going bingo as it explodes. Uh, the Avengers show up. She's really surprised to see Vin- Vision. <laughs> Uh, which I love, like, and like as soon as we made sure Vision was okay, uh, we showed up. <laughs> yeah, the rest of the vendors. What it seems like that's a little, it's like, a little passive aggressive, huh? Like as soon as we we made sure that Vision was okay before we came to help you out with your little fight thing that you've got over here, dear. Bless your heart. Yeah, the, <laughs> the, the, the vendors of this era love to wait around. It's hilarious, dude. Uh, I can't believe really they good. literally were really having proactive. an argument. Like they were like just standing there, not fighting the supervillain. Yeah, <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, and then they cut out, they take off the mask of Centurion and it's Ballard. Got him. Uh, got him. <laughs> Drag his ass, Ballard. Uh, yeah, Mystique's only in this for a page. Uh, we basically, I, I accidentally read two seventies Miss Marvel comics. So, oh, well, here we go. That's, that's, yeah. that's on you cause I don't know what to tell you. It a hundred percent on me. Um, I don't know, man. It's, it's fun and it's unpredictable and it's only 18 pages long. Yeah. So it moves real fast. Yeah. You know, I can see this being um, like, again, you know, it's 1978, right? It's two years before both of us were born. Like I'm willing to just go along with this kind of stuff um, because it's just, and it's, it was was reasonably a good time. Like there was nothing uh, atrocious about it. Um, So yeah, kind of into it. It's fun to see Mystique for the first time. It's really rare that I have like a bad time reading a comic. Yeah. You know, Mm -hmm. it's basically fine. The, uh, what's interesting about it is that uh, the other comics we're doing from the same era, like really, really do show that uh, there's you know even though there's a seventiesness to all this stuff, so there's a level of kind of creditude. There is a big difference in quality. Mm-hmm. You know, like I think this issue is uh, significantly less good than the next one, yep. which is significantly less good than the fourth one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Uncanny is definitely the the best comic batch that we're doing. Yeah. Um, no question yeah. um that's it everybody um yeah. you probably already heard this and you're already aware of it but just so you know uh we're going to be changing our format a little bit instead of doing the drip feed of episodes every few days we're going to go to one monster episode every two weeks this is actually going back to the way we originally launched the podcast um when we were doing covering mm-hmm. the animated series um so yeah just look for that this will be the episode on the 30th of May will be the first episode that is the monster episode. So look for that. Yeah. Continuing our uh, Phoenix saga coverage. Yeah. Uh, we appreciate you for listening to this. If you want to support us, uh, you can go to patreon.com slash duck feed TV, uh, kick us some dollars, mm-hmm. get some bonus shows. It's real fun. You can leave us ratings or reviews anywhere podcast reviews go. And most importantly, you can tell your friends if you have X-Men friends or huge fans of Centurion, uh, send them our way. If you've got any centur- Centurion fan art, like hook me up with those Tumblr yes. links, my friend. That's that's what I want to see. Yeah, draw. Give us the the seventies costumes that uh, Wasp would make for us. Yes, absolutely. Just wretched. Um, <laughs> we do need new podcast art, so why not? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Um, um yeah, yeah, thank you, everybody. We'll be back in a couple of days with uh, more Avengers and Mystique. <laughs> <laughs>